An eggless tiramisu is what we are making today, dear friends. This decadent recipe is a must try for all. These are the ingredients for the eggless lady fingers which we are going to make. And this is for the egg tiramisu coffee concoction and tiramisu cream. All the ingredients I have kept aside and now we will start creaming the butter and sugar. Add vanilla essence and fluff it up. Add cream. This cream may be replaced if you find that the mixture is turning very dry. You can replace the entire quantity of whipping cream with milk. After that, mix the potato flour or corn flour and baking powder into gluten-free flour or maida which you would have taken. Mix it well and then sift it into the butter sugar mix. Mix this very well and if you find that this is turning out too dry you may increase the quantity of milk. Increase it to 40 or 50 ml. Once it is mixed thoroughly we have to pipe it into piping we have to transfer it into piping bag and make for making the lady fingers we have to pipe it out onto a lined baking tray and for getting even sized lady fingers I did not do that you have to line and you have to you can draw lines so that the all the lady fingers turn out of the same size now sprinkle caster sugar on it or icing sugar all over it and then bake it at 180 degrees for 12 to 13 minutes. I over baked the second batch that's why it turned out too brown. Now I am sifting the uh, icing sugar to remove any lumps. Mix in the coffee powder. This can be any coffee powder. I used instant coffee powder, brew instant coffee powder and mix hot water. Keep it aside. Meanwhile, start whisking with a whisk, with a hand whisk, start whisking the mascarpone cheese. Add 40 gram powdered sugar, keep it aside. Take whipping cream, this I have taken uh, dairy whipping cream. So it is not sweet. If you are taking uh, vegetable oil whipping cream, non-dairy whipping cream, that might be sweet. So no need to add the sugar. This quantity of sugar also depends on how sweet you want your tiramisu to be. You have to get the high peak, the uh, hard peak stage here. Once you get the um, hard peak stage, just whisk the mascarpone mix as well. Do not over mix this mascarpone cheese mix, otherwise it may curdle. After that, transfer the mascarpone mix into the whipping cream which has reached the stiff peak stage the quantity of whipping cream I took here actually it was a little bit more than the quantity I have mentioned in the recipe so this tiramisu was soft quite soft it should have been 250 gram mascarpone and 150 ml whipping cream. Now just softly mix this very well. Ensure that it is mixed very well. And after this keep this aside. And immediately dip each lady finger in coffee concoction. Let it soak up the coffee a little bit. Spread it on a glass tray or uh, any other vessel which you would like to use. And then spread the whipping cream mascarpone cheese mix, cream mix all over it. After mixing, after uh, uh, putting it spread out, spread this cheese mix very well. 
so that it reaches all the edges on top of this i have sprinkled once i have uh, uh, spread this out i have sprinkled cocoa powder on this you may substitute that with drinking chocolate or any other mix which you would like as a or uh, um, some coffee lovers use coffee powder also in place of this cocoa powder or some use drinking chocolate mix on all over this you may add some chocolate shavings also in between then the second layer on top of that in the same way i'll spread the second layer of lady fingers dipped in coffee concoction and then spread out the mix evenly and this will fill the top of the vessel spread it out and evenly distribute cocoa powder or drinking chocolate or nothing at all that can also be an option and then keep this in the fridge for at least 5 to 6 hours now since this quantity of whipping cream was a little bit more as i told you so this has turned out a little bit soft but it is very tender and melt in the mouth recipe so i do in fact i am requesting all my viewers to try out this recipe there is no egg in this so it can be easily made and this is how it has turned out my lady fingers which got burnt a little bit that those have turned out a little bit tough but otherwise this is such a i can't stop i want to eat this again when i'm watching this video so it is a yummy yummy dessert which we all think is very tough but this is how you can make it the gluten free version also you can make it or make it with the normal maida and serve it to your family on a very very special occasion and the occasion that if you serve it on any day that day itself would become a day to remember so do give this to your friends and family and have a fabulous time please do share to gluten free india for more recipes thank you